Welcome to PC Mac. In today's video, we are going to work on DietPy remote desktop softwares. And in today's video, I'm going to install no machine on our DietPy. And after that, we'll go ahead and take the control of our DietPy operating system. In the last video, we have installed the DietPy desktops. Now we'll install the remote desktop software to take control of it and work directly from our machine on the DietPy operating system. So let's do it. First of all, we need to connect to our DietPy using the SSH. So in my case, I'm using the terminal and the command is. So my IP for the DietPy is 192.168.1.2. Let's hit enter and now it asks for the password. So we are logged in. Now let me just maximize the screen a little bit and move to DietPy softwares. Now from here browse the software from the list move down to the no machine press the spacebar to select no machine and then the tab button to move to ok and hit enter and by going down to install and ok now the no machine is going to install on our pi in between let me just go ahead and show you how you can install no machine on your mac or any other computer that you are using so we need to look for no machine and here is the no machine window either you can click here and go to the download option and you will have all the options no machine for windows mac linux ios android raspberry pi all the versions are available here so you can download and install no machine on your computer then we'll take the control of other machine so let's just go ahead and close it now i have already installed the no machine so let's just go ahead and open it it's right here no machine now you can see i have already installed it but it gave us a option like insert the service url or ip of the computer like this so let's click on do not show and press ok now it will automatically search for the computers that already have no machine installed on them in the network so now you can see it says search again let's go back to the terminal window and check whether the software is completely installed or not so you can see sys t e m c t l enable nx server and rest and start it as well so let's just minimize this one and you can see automatically diet pi debian added here and when we double click on it it will try to connect to the diet pi and it says the authenticity of host can't be established the certificate fingerprint okay you want to continue connecting so let's just click on ok now it will ask for the username and the password so our user id is root and the password is already set by me uh, while we configured the diet pi for the first time so let me just go ahead and connect to the diet pi desktop now now I'm connected it says physical display root 00 and 01 so let's select the first one so it says scale the remote desktop to fit into the windows show the remote desktop and its resolution using scroll pass so we'll select the default one and press ok ok and it's done you can see let me just move it to the middle of the window and you can see we can control our diet by desktop directly from here and let me maximize the screen so i have tried to open my website and it's working here you can see we are able to scroll the window up and down but it's not working up to the mark so in the next video we'll try to use a different software that will give us a better speed and compatibility with the raspberry pi 4 and with diet pi operating system you can use no machine with diet pi if you want to do a small changes to your operating system this will be a good software you don't have to remember the url and everything it will automatically detect the installed no machine device in your network and give you an option you can also manage all the devices directly from the no machine console that is inside your network so that's it for today if you like my work please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and press the bell notification for my latest video share this video with your family and friends
Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Take care. Have a nice day.